I am Rabanit, Miriam Hanna Oragon Czarska, Alamna Vyshivat Maharat. I want to wish everyone a Lichtke Hanukkah. Welcome to Maharat's Eight Days of Light. The eighth day of Hanukkah is called Sot Hanukkah. We repeat this expression twice during the Torah reading on this day, and it describes the completion of the dedication of the Mishkan, the portable temple in the times of Aaron, the first priest, and Moses, the, the nation's first Torah teacher. Zod Hanukkah means this is Hanukkah. We are approaching the completion of the celebration of Holy Day of Light. The next night, when we close our eyes, we might still see the leftover imprints of the Hanukkah lights, yet when we open them, the darkness of the winter nights, the darkness of Kalut, and the sense of homelessness of the divine might return to our souls. The word Zod has a hidden message, helping us to take experience of Hanukkah and carry us throughout the year. The gematria of the letter Zayin is, corresponds to number seven, the creation. The Aleph is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Number one represents creator. Together, they are eight. They symbolize transcendence. But Zot also contains letter Taf, the last letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Every student and the teacher knows that the alphabet is only a beginning of learning process. When we teach and learn, we bring out the light of Torah so it can be re reflected in the eyes of our teachers and students. This is the meaning of Zot Hanukkah, the Zot Hinuch, the education from Aleph to, to Tav and beyond, which stays with us the whole year. This way, we, every house of study becomes a reflection of the Holy Temple, as if it still stands in its place in Jerusalem.